Hey viewers, well I'm continuing to work on the specialized hard rock here and so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to disassemble, clean and lube and reassemble the RST Gila T5 shocks. So I'm going to start off by removing the front wheel. I may have to put this back on again uh, to, for disassembly and I'll, I'll cover that when I get there. And since I'm going to need to drop the lowers down, I can either disconnect the brake right here or I'm just going to go ahead and remove the brake here. Pull this out. And then just put this aside there for now. And I'm just going to put the screw back in here for now so I don't lose it. Now, what I want to do is release the lowers to drop down there are underneath here there are two uh, bolts it's a uh, four millimeter allen uh, wrench you need to go ahead and remove these so go ahead and unscrew these and they may or may not come out easily what sometimes might happen is as you turn them the part inside here will also turn in, in which case you won't get the screw out. So I got that one out, no problem. Now let's try this other one here. Now this one is just turning and turning and turning. So I'm going to need help to do this one. Okay, in order to get this uh, part loose in here, this bolt here, I need to keep this part in here from turning. So what I did was I put the front wheel on and I have a helper and she's going to go ahead and put weight down on the handlebars to compress the shock and that will hopefully keep this part in here from turning. So now with an Allen wrench, I'm going to reach up in here and then just unscrew this. And there, I got the bolt out. Now that I have those two bolts out, I should be able to just go ahead and drop these lowers down and release them from there. Now there's a couple little uh, plastic parts that go on here that might get stuck down inside the lowers. Using a, like a little bit of a hanger here with a, I made like a little hook at the, at the bottom here. I can reach down inside the little part, go through it, hook it up, and then carefully guide it out through the top here. There, like that. And then those, those go like on there like that. Now I want to go ahead and remove the stacks from the top tubes here. I need to remove these caps. In order to remove these caps, you could use just a pair of vice grips to turn them off, but I made a tool here that uh, just makes it a little easier. And if you click the link on the screen, uh, that'll take you to a video on how I made this little tool. It's just made from a socket. I've got a ratchet wrench here. And what I'm going to do is just uh, unscrew these top caps here. And there's one stack right there. And then remove this one. And remove this stack here. Now that I have like the uh, stacks here and here's the little parts that were at the, were at the bottom uh, removed, I'm gonna go ahead and use like a uh, cleaner to try to get rid of a lot of the old grease, just clean it off because then we're going to apply brand new grease. Okay, and then here's here's the stack, there's the spring, at the bottom of the spring there's a little plastic part, go ahead and unscrew this and if, if you kind of shake that out there's a couple 
of elastomers in there. So go ahead and pull those out. And the same thing on the other side. We want to, want to clean all these as well. Okay, I've got these parts pretty well cleaned up. I also used a little bit of warm soap and water to kind of get the grease off and a scrub brush on there. And most of the grease is off there. There's still a little bit on there, but I don't care if a little bit's still on there. I got most of it off. Okay, wipe these parts off here, like that, get that grease off. Now I use like the degreaser to clean the upper tubes to get all the uh, old grease off of these. And if there's anything on there, there looks like a, maybe a little bit of corrosion or something on here. I'm going to use a Scotch-Brite pad here to gently scrub that and just see if I can kind of get that off. Sometimes there's just old dried grease or something on there. Sometimes you can get it off. Sometimes you can't. Well, the stuff's still on there, but it's at least a little bit smoother on there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe scratches in the surface. But it is what it is. Now I want to clean out the inside of the lowers. Again, I'm going to use some of the degreaser. Just spray this around in, in, in here. Then I have a piece of uh, old t-shirt on the end of a hanger. Just kind of... not The hanger's just kind of wrapped around there. So I'll use the, this to go ahead and clean out the inside of these tubes. And just try to get a bunch of that old grease out of there. Like that. I may need to use another piece of t-shirt and try to dry it out as much as I can in here. And then you can try cleaning out the uppers as well. Uh, what you do is just kind of take a uh, piece of the t-shirt and just try to twist it down in there and work its way down in and kind of clean out some of this down in here as well. Again, if you don't get all the grease, that's okay. You just want to try to get most of it and try to get a lot of the dirt out and everything. The cleaner you can get it, the better. Okay, I'm ready to start putting this thing back together again. Um, RST simply says use a non-lithium based grease. So, what I'm going to use is uh, marine grease. Um, the stuff that was in there seemed to be blue, and some marine grease is blue, so maybe that's what was in, in there. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and coat the elastomers a little bit here. Get some grease all around them. Slide it up in, inside the spring there. Take the other one. Again, put some uh, marine grease around on there. Slide this up inside the spring there, and then take the little uh, plastic cap that I pulled off of there, and then that just screws onto the spring to hold the elastomers into place. And same thing with this one. A little bit of marine grease there. Slide that up inside there. Ring grease, coat that all up, slide that up in there, take the little plastic cap, screw that on, like this. And then I want to get some uh, grease all up around the spring, like that, get it all nice and lubed so it's all going to move nice and smoothly inside the uh, tubes. Like that. So that's all ready to go. Okay, now I'm ready to, to uh, install the stacks in there. Just slide these right in, like this, and then screw them in. And make sure that they're threaded in nice and cleanly, not cross threaded.
then use the tool to tighten them on. Like that. And they don't need to be super tight because they're just plastic. You don't want to strip the threads out. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these little parts that I took off of here off. So there's these two little, uh, I guess they're like rubber. And I'm going to put the, uh, this part facing up on both sides. Like that, just run them up there. And then I have these, these two little plastic parts. And there's a little part inside here that's kind of uh, tapered inside there and it's not on the other side. So the little um, inset part there goes facing up. So I can just slide that on there like this. And then I want to put uh, some grease down around inside these parts here, like this. Just kind of fill those up a little bit and then kind of get the grease around the outside here like this. Like that. So those are going to slide up inside the, the uh, lower tubes. Now I have the boots here. I'm going to slide these over. They'll slide over the little plastic parts there. I could have put, put them on there and slide these up the uppers like this. Like that. Now I have the lowers here. There's like a rubber seal at the top and there's like a little indent in there. And I want to go ahead and feel, fill this little seal with grease. Run the grease all the way around inside there. Just gonna, there's a little channel. Just fill that little channel with grease in there. Like that. Now at this point, I can go ahead, slide the lowers up over these little parts here, and then slide them up into place. Like that. Now I'm ready to reinstall these little screws in the bottom here. They're going to go up into those little parts that are sticking down. So it's a four millimeter Allen uh, wrench. Screw these up in there. And they should be tight. And this one over here, again, is just turning and turning. So this part up here is, is spinning, so I can't uh, get this screw tight. So what I'm going to do is put the wheel back on and then have my helper push down on the uh, handlebars to compress the shocks so I can tighten that again. Okay, so now I have my helper uh, compressing the, the shocks down. And I'll go ahead and tighten this. There, that's all nice and tight. Okay, I'm almost done here. Uh, these little seals down here already kind of covered a little bit of grease onto the uppers, but I'm just gonna go ahead and rub a little bit more around there, just a, a light coating around here. And then drop these boots down, these little top parts. and then they lock into the top of the shocks. Kind of snap into place there. Then just wipe off any excess grease off of there. 
like that. Now I want to reconnect the brake here. Just slide this on. Put the screw back in. Reattach the wheel. Reconnect the brake noodle. And done. Well that is how to disassemble, clean, lube, and reassemble RST Gila T5 shocks. I hope you found that helpful or at least interesting. If you did, please click the like button on my video. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. It helps me out. And if uh, you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. You can click the big yellow subscribe button here and that way you'll see new videos as I put them online. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.